Guys, thank you all for coming today. We really appreciate you taking time out of your valuable schedules to uh, see two carriers that we're really super excited about. Uh, first one being a small company you guys may or may not have heard of called Verizon. Um, you know, these guys are rolling out some unbelievable programs. They've got uh, things that will compensate you for not even having to move the customer. You can actually like return the account and basically get commission on it, which is totally unique in the business. Um, so Vanessa is going to speak about uh, the products that they have. Uh, then we have another fantastic uh, carrier, Nextiva, uh, hosted Voip. You may or may not have had any experience with them. They call Carl the closer. So the guy's running, a, you know, he's batting about 950 on closing any deals that he goes out on. So, all right, with that, I'll, uh, you know, turn it over to Vanessa. And Sounds great. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Vanessa Hammer. I am with Verizon Enterprise Solutions. I am a channel manager in our Verizon Partner Program and TCG is one of the partners that I manage. Um, so the Verizon Partner Program, um, some of you may have been part of our partner program in the past. We revamped it a couple of years ago and our entire leadership is now behind the partner program. In fact, so much so that our direct reps are, are, are being told to go out there, meet partners, let's, let's um, engage the partners, and let's collaborate on deals together. So Verizon today is we, we know that we have to expand our distribution channel by engaging our partners because a lot of times you are the trusted resource for our end customers. They don't look at us as that trusted resource. They look at you as that trusted resource. So we have revamped the program to ensure that we are improving the customer experience, providing partners with the resources that they need to um, to go out there and find an opportunity, quote the opportunity, and close the opportunity, all with a customer experience. We obviously have a very strong portfolio of solutions, and we are open for sale account access, which I will describe in a moment. Uh, go to the next one. So here's our Verizon ch uh, sales channels. We have direct sales, indirect, and then we have an online channel as well. We are CRN five-star certified, and we have uh, agent, sell with, and resale models. TCG is an agent. Um, and we have an entire portfolio of products and services that you as sub-agents of TCG can sell to your partners. Um, we are leveraging the channel because we know that the customers want to decide how they work with us. And oftentimes, they don't want to work with us directly. They look at us as big red and they don't trust us, but they trust you. So we want to give the customer the ability to decide what model works best for them. So here is uh, our solutions that are available to you as sub-agents to sell. Uh, so you have everything from intelligent networking to security, professional services. The only thing that is not part of the partner program today is wireless. So if you're thinking about cell phones, that's not part of this program. But most every other service or product that we offer is available for you to sell. And uh, later on, after I describe the partner program, I have Anne Marie Satter with me, who is one of our emerging technical consultants who is going to be going into detail on our VoIP products and services specifically. So here's how we help our partners. We have the channel account manager, me. Um, we have an inside channel manager to assist with any uh, sales or tool issues, you know, applications. Are, are, we have a portal by which the uh, partner can quote and order and contract. We have uh, technical engineering folks. So let's just say that you do have an opportunity where you need a sales engineer to help scope the opportunity. The partner has the ability to engage a sales engineer for that specific opportunity to assist with the customer, uh, typically via conference call. Depending upon the size of the customer, they could be in person as well. And then we also have an entire order management team to help, the flow, to help with the flow of the order through to uh, implementation with the customer. So I said that we opened the doors to a large array of our customers. In the past, partners could only sell into our medium business segment, what we, what we segment as medium business, which is typically based on the Duns and Bradstreet number of employees. 
So in medium business, we have over 132,000 accounts that partners can sell into, no problems whatsoever. You just go in there, register an opportunity, or create an opportunity, and you're good to go. Well, at the end of last year, we opened up our commercial and enterprise accounts to partners. So we have different levels, commercial two, commercial one, enterprise four, enterprise three. All of these are now accounts that partners can also engage in with a deal registration. So what we're looking for is uh, you, you, that you have the ability to bring us in for this specific opportunity, then we will engage with the direct team. I will, I will uh, uh, schedule a conference call to introduce you all together, ensure that we're all on the same page, and then both the direct team and the partner gets compensated for this. So where before you were very limited as to who you could go after, now we've opened up the playing field. And in fact, TCG had a wonderful uh, deal uh, two months ago, I think it was, where they partnered with a direct team and it was very profitable on both sides because we gained additional business that we did not have before because the, the customer trusted the partner and not us. So, uh, like I said, everybody gets compensated, which is great because before the direct teams did not necessarily want to um, partner if they weren't going to get paid, but now everybody gets paid, so we're all one big happy family. Um, next slide. Again, the rules of engagement is that we, we do have a published rules of engagement. We need to ensure that, the, uh, especially on our larger accounts, that the opportunity is registered because we want to ensure that you get credit for it and that, um, that, that it is agreed upon as well with the direct team. So it's, it's a very open uh, and very uh, scalable way to do business. And what you'll find is that the direct teams are embracing this. They actually come to me and ask me if I have partners that they can engage with because they know that they, you might have a different level of access within a customer than they do. They might be stuck in IT and you might be someplace else. So uh, you'll find that they're, they're very, very willing to engage with you and that, they're want, that they want to engage with you. And then again, here is the deal approval and compensation. I think that the important part here is both the direct rep, the channel manager, and the partner, we all get compensated. <laughs> so uh, that I think is, is the, the most important part here because if we all get compensated, we all want to work together because we all, all are all in sales, so we want to get paid or else we wouldn't be in sales, we'd be doing something a lot less stressful. And, uh, <laughs> okay, well, maybe it's not stressful for you. <laughs> okay, and again, the rules of engagement, this is the same thing as the other slide, only it, you know, shows you uh, the different steps. Identify the partner opportunity, engage, close the deals, and again, everybody gets paid. So that, in a nutshell, is the partner program. Um, we have, we're very excited to, uh, to roll this out to TCG. We've been working with TCG for several months now and uh, uh, we're, we're looking forward to having more business for, from them and their sub-agents. Any questions about our program? Yes. Question number one, uh, can we get copies of this? I'll, I'll find out. Okay. Uh, number two, what products are we gonna be able to sell? You can sell that, uh, the, uh, yes, thank you. Everything but wireless. You pretty much can sell most everything but wireless. So um, MPLS, internet, cloud, data centers, security, VoIP. <laughs> <laughs> VoIP, um, you know, you can also sell uh, on the ILEC side of the house. You can sell local PRIs in our ILEC territories as well. Uh, Dan was speaking before about renewals. Um, if you have a, if you come across a customer that has an ILEC PRI that is not in contract anymore, you get paid for renewals. So as long as it's a 12 month term or, or longer. Hey, the other thing too on that is uh, anything that's old WorldCom network, stuff that you guys are familiar with, your whole history, all this network is in the ground. You can sell anywhere. There's nowhere off network Verizon. So you got business connection, IP services, 
And then on top of that, you can also do backup wireless and tie it into the SLA and make it part of the deal. It'll be supported by the sales engineer as well. So that's something that you want to look at. So if you want to put 4G LTE as a backup, they'll even test the speeds at each location and let you know what it's going to run. You know, and most of the time you get at least 10 meg or better in most locations. Are you prepared to talk compensation today? Uh, TCG. Not percentage-wise, just how it works. How it works, okay, I can say that. We have, every product is provided with a booking value, which is typically the monthly recurring cost. Nice, straight, and easy. Um, that monthly recurring cost times 12 is what we consider the booking value. That booking value is then multiplied by the term of the contract, so two years, three years, and then the compensation is based on a percentage of that total value. It depends on the type of customer. If um, for our commercial and enterprise, if you're teaming with the um, with a direct team, it's 10% up front and 90% as a residual over the term of that contract for that specific product. Um, if it's medium business, it is 100% up front for most products. There are some there that are a little bit different, but I'm generally speaking on the Verizon business side of the house, not the ILEC side of the house. Yes. So, so if you are collaborating with a direct team member, the commission schedule is different, I'm assuming? You're getting less versus if you're... No, you're no, you're still getting the same amount, you're just getting it paid differently. Where you would have had more upfront if it was a medium business account, you're getting it more on the back end with an enterprise or commercial account. So you're still getting 100%, it's just being dolly out differently. So, so basically, if you, if you engage or, or you come across an opportunity yourself without collaborating with a direct team member, that commission rate doesn't change. Basically, it's just how it gets divvied up. Correct. Okay. Right. So anything where we're partnering with a direct team is 10% up front, 90% on the back, and medium business is treated differently. Yep. I'm sorry, Dax was mentioning you know, 4G LTE mm -hmm. wireless backup, isn't that part of the LTE access that we can sell? Or right, you can sell it. So while it is it is wireless, yes, but it's not considered part oh, okay. of, it's not it's Verizon cellular. wireless. Okay, gotcha, right, gotcha. it's not cellular, exactly. It's not phones. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, one of the reasons we're very excited about Verizon as a company is because they have an international scope. I mean, the amount of, you know, places worldwide that they can get into is just phenomenal. I mean, this is network second only to at and So, you know, any opportunity you come across is a good fit and we can price it out and just see what they can do. And internationally, the only caveat there is that it needs to, in order for us to get compensated, and I say us, I mean everybody in the room, including me, uh, the, the service has to, has to invoice on US paper. So there are some weird countries out there that you, you must have in-country paper, an in-country contract, that we wouldn't get compensated on. But the vast majority of the countries are um, U.S. paper, so that's not an issue. Can you clarify or go over the registration process where you said a larger, I think, the E1 and the E2? Right, so anything from a commercial account up requires a deal registration. As you go up the stack, Obviously, more detail is required for that deal registration. So what happens is that TC, we, we use Salesforce.com, and um, we for our partners, we call it the Partner Relationship Manager. So TCG has access to that. What they would do is they would, they would create a deal registration for that specific customer. They would put within the comments what the opportunity is and why, the, why they, uh, or what relationship th they have or you have with this customer. That then gets submitted for the C accounts. Uh, I just approve it, we're good to go. For the E accounts, it goes to a VP to approve it as well, and then typically the VP will get involved as well. On the direct side as well? Yeah, that's all direct. So direct will see our registration? Direct won't see the, direct sees the registration, yes. Um, the direct does not have the ability, the sales rep does not have the ability to say no, it's above them. So, and believe me, everybody above them, they want to partner as much as possible. Um, so there, if, you are, if you're ingrained in an account, there is a possibility that we could tag you at the customer level, although you would have, we, we have to really prove our case as to your position within that customer. 
because we don't want to because what direct thinks then is that potentially okay you're getting paid for you know sales that you weren't even involved with so you just want to make sure that you have that we you know we show that relationship I worry about ex ex exposing ourselves to yeah. the direct side with a registration and then they say oh we got one pri in there where we're selling a hundred thousand dollars won't happen won't happen and they, when I say detail, I don't mean give away the farm, you know, give away all of your, you know, stuff in your back pocket, just enough so that we can have that conversation to show this is, this is how we are positioned. We can bring you to here. Has there been a situation where it has, uh, hasn't been approved? There, it's very rare that it's not approved these days. I've had a couple where the, um, the partner was not able to necessarily produce any detail as to who they were positioned with within a customer. If you can't tell us who you're positioned with, then we're going to presume that, that there isn't a position. What if two of us in here are going on the same account? Is there any, whoever gets, the, whoever gets, gets there first and registers that deal first. That's the LOA. Yep. You guys are losing. Yep. <laughs> so really, if the customer, if the customer is uh, working with you and wants to entrust you with the bidding, you're Absolutely. Not Yep. It's just having that relationship. Correct. Okay. And we, we've had that where a customer comes to us and says, you know what? We want everything to go through TCG. Okay. And okay, everything goes through TCG then. Thank you. Are you going to be able to call it government accounts? No. Okay. GovEd is off limits. Okay. At all levels? At all levels, GovEd is off limits. <laughs> they're, they're, they are actually. Um, reviewing that to see if we can bring some of that into the partner program. However, right now there's just too many other um, factors that play in GovEd that makes it just too tedious.